Hey friends, welcome to Spice India Online with me, Mulai Madhavan. In this video, I'll be sharing the recipe for a spicy Andhra style chicken fry, which goes by the name Kodi Vepudu, which literally translates to chicken fry, more like a dry kind of chicken curry, which you can serve either as an appetizer or you can also serve it as a side dish for sambar, rasam or curd rice. Now let's get started. To begin with, we will need about half to 3 4 kg of whole cut chicken cut into bite sized pieces. Let's marinate this with half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of salt, then 2 tablespoons of fresh lemon juice from half a lemon. And finally, add about 5 to 6 finely chopped curry leaves for extra flavor. Now mix all of this until it is well combined and let it marinate for 30 to 45 minutes. A minimum of 30 minutes of marination is a must for this recipe. If you wish to marinate it longer, then cover it with the lid and refrigerate until it's ready to be used. The more you marinate, the more moist and juicy your chicken will be when it gets cooked. This Andhra style chicken fry calls in for fresh ground garam masala for which we are going to dry roast few cinnamon sticks, some cloves, 3 green cardamom, then a small piece of star anise, about 2 petals from a whole star anise as it's very strong in flavor, a small one goes a long way. Along with the spices, add about a teaspoon of black pepper corns and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Dry roast these spices over medium flame for about 2 to 3 minutes until it releases its aroma. When it turns slightly brown, turn off the heat and let this cool completely. Once this cools down, Transfer this to a mixer jar and make a fine powder out of it and set it aside. Now for the base, heat some oil in a heavy bottomed iron gadai or pan. I am using a heavy cast iron gadai which has got high heat retention. Along with oil, I am also adding little ghee for extra flavor. Once the oil gets hot, temper it with few fresh curry leaves and add about a cup of finely chopped onions along with few green chilies for heat. Saute these over medium flame for about 5 to 6 minutes or until the onions turn nice and soft. Try adding a pinch of salt while cooking the onions. This way it will bring out the moisture. It will cook down and brown up a little faster. When the onions become a little translucent, add about half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste along with half a cup of fresh tomatoes. Now again, saute and cook these until the tomatoes turn nice and mushy which is going to take about like 2 to 3 minutes. When the tomato onion base is all set, we are going to start adding the masala powder starting with quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, about a tablespoon of coriander powder and then a teaspoon of red chilli powder. As this being an Andhra style chicken fry, I would prefer you use the Andhra Guntur chilli powder which kind of brings the authentic flavor. For some reason, if you cannot find this one, you can always go with any South Indian style spicy red chilli powder. And also make sure that you do not use Kashmiri red chilli powder for this recipe which would alter the taste completely. In general, Kashmiri red chilli powder can only spike up the color and has a very mild level of flavor and heat. So if you prefer more authentic flavor and taste, then go only for any Andhra style red chilli powder either the Guntur or go for any South Indian style spicy version of red chilli powder. Now add about a teaspoon of salt to this. Remember we have already added half a teaspoon to our chicken. So add what is necessary for the base. 
At this point, our base curry is pretty much ready. So it's time to add the chicken that we marinated earlier. Also, along with this, we can add the fresh ground garam masala that we prepared earlier. Now mix this well until the masala is coated on all sides of the chicken and keep frying over medium flame until it is partially cooked. As this being a dry chicken curry, the most important step here in this recipe is to not to add any water while cooking the chicken. The chicken should pretty much cook from the moisture that it releases. This way, it not only retains the taste but also keeps the cooked meat more moist and flavorful. Now reduce the flame to low, cover this with a lid and cook for about 20 minutes over low flame. Once that is done, you can see it for yourself. The chicken must have released a lot of water and let this stay in medium flame for next 10 to 15 minutes until all the water is absorbed. And also keep in mind the cooking time actually varies depending on the size and cut of the chicken that you use. Typically for small bite sized pieces with white meat usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes whereas for big cut thighs and drumsticks it's going to take a little longer. As you keep cooking you will notice at one point the chicken will absorb all the moisture and the curry will turn a little thick and dry. Also when using an iron pan or gada, you will see that the masala will be sticking to the sides of the pan. So keep stirring and scraping the sides continuously to avoid any darkening or browning of food at the bottom. Once it reaches the desired consistency and texture, add in few extra green chilies for additional heat and then garnish it with some fresh curry leaves and few chopped coriander leaves. Give it a good stir fry over high flame for a couple of minutes and then turn it off. And that's it friends, spicy Andhra style Kodi Vepudu. It's ready to be served. Like I said, you can serve this as an appetizer or you can serve as a side for any kind of sambar rasam or curd rice. It also goes well with roti or chapati. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.